And hello everybody, my name is DW Chan Jr. and today we are here to talk about update 15.12 and all the changes that came along with it for Warframe. Alright, so to start off with these patch 15.12 update notes, we're going to start off with the Necros changes. We're going to start with the changes to Terrify. Terrify casting time has now been reduced. Terrify will now t affect a greater number of targets. Before the patch it was max Terrify of 12 targets, afterwards it will now be 20 targets. Terrify can now be recast, so you now will no longer have to wait for the duration round on the ability. Terrify will prioritize unaffected targets on cast. Terrify range has been slightly reduced. Before the patch, max Terrify equals 20 meters. Afterwards, it's now only 15 meters, which can obviously can be affected by power range mods. Now on to Shadow of the Dead changes. The increased damage output has been changed to times 2.5 with the shadows created by the Shadows of the Dead. Increased health has been changed to times 2 with the maxed Shadows of the Dead. Players can now walk through Shadows of the Dead created by Shadows of the Dead. And now last but not least for Necros changes, we have Soul Punch changes. Soul Punch can be cast from any direction or orientation, meaning that Necros does not have to orient himself to cast on a selected target any longer. Alright, some other changes are, the weapons that are tradable can no longer receive Login Reward XP. And the other one has been reduce the bloom values in the Dojo Tenno Lab. And now on to the fixes that 15.12 has brought us. Alright, let's see. Fixed Spelling Error on Staring's Regenerative Mod Augment. Fixed Itzel Arc Wings Codex Entry to display a Warframe War and Itzel in the Diorama. Fixed Issue Caused by Host Inviting Players to a Party when Set to Friends Only while Party Members are Set to Public. Fixed Performance Issues Caused when Moving Through Connecting Rooms on Corpus Outpost. Fixed Player Weapons Still Appearing on the Ground after they've been disarmed by the Grenier Drop Master just before exiting and rejoining a mission in progress. Fix an issue that prevent players from logging in due to a script error in the clan MOTDs. Please note this issue only affected language with non-Latin characters, which I find quite interesting as to how it only affected language with non-Latin characters. Up next we have fixed players being able to perform emotes while in a bleed-out state. Fixed players still being able to acquire overshields when shields are being depleted from the environmental ice effects. Fix mags greedy pull moving weapons disarmed by the Drop Master, making weapons unrecoverable, which is a little game breaking I would say. Fix some weapons not using the correct damage multipliers. Fix the Viper not having the correct tint on its forest camouflage skin. Fix an issue where the player's warframe in the arsenal want visually change weapons when switching between loadouts that were missing primary and secondary weapon slots. Fix player names showing up as decimals in public chat channels if the player name is mostly num numerics. Fix Captain War falling through the slopes when teleporting. That's been a big one, that's for sure. Fix issues that could arise when moving from the terminal to terminal with the Lissette's quick menu. Fix players that could not delete alliance invitations if they received an invite when they are no longer in a clan already, the alliance, or if they no longer are a leader of the clan. Fix the Panthera's alternate fire causing a razor blade to fly backwards and press rapidly. Sounds like a bit of mechanic that you could kill yourself with. <laughs> Fix various issues caused when host migration occurs during the Grostag 3 appearance. Fix a twist in Yamako Sayandana that made the adornment look unusual. Fix picking up energy orbs as a client and not reflecting on your energy pool when you have an ability active until the ability ends. Fix Mag's greedy pool augment, not properly using its full range for other clients when relocating items. Fix an issue with Mesa's skills with Peacemaker not accounting properly as kills from the Warframe. This should rectify issues with suit XP not being earned at full value. And last but not least, fix ragdoll enemies suddenly disappearing. Alright guys, well that's it as far as changes and fixes go for this update. But there's one last thing that came with this update, which I think is absolutely amazing. Syndicate Cyandanas! Yes! Tello Cyandanas. With every enemy struck down, the Tello Cyandana glows stronger. Cyanoid Cyandana. The Cyanoid Cyandana glows more brightly with every scamper formed. The Sancti Cyandana. Pulses every time the Tenno uses an ability and continues to strengthen with each ability used. Sakura Cyandana pulses every time a Tenno picks up credits and glows brighter as their wealth increases. Acido Racta Cyandana ignites a jet of flames that burns brighter with each stealth takedown. Vecor Cyandana flares up whenever the Tenno takes damage. Alright, guys, now that is for the most part all that came with update 15.12 if you exclude the various hotfixes we've had the past couple of days. And I don't know if you guys could tell. Have noticed any different microphone quality? That's right, my blue snowball came in last weekend. 
Did I have time to make a video? Not really. I would spend a few days fiddling with it, trying to, you know, figure out what sounds good, what doesn't, how far I should be away from my pop filter, how far my pop filter should be away from my microphone, and just basically figuring out a lot of different things of what to do with this snowball. And I'm loving it. It sounds fantastic, and so far, everybody that's heard it has just gone, wow, your microphone sounds amazing. And I'm really, really loving it, and looking forward to making more videos with it. Anyways, guys. This has been DW Chan Jr. I will remind you to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think of this update. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.